Today I'm going to show you how to remove anything from a photo in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And we got a cool episode for you today. It's total Photoshop and what we're going to do, we're going to take something, a huge part of this image actually, we're going to completely remove it from the background. Now you might be saying, why would you want to do that? Well, oftentimes you guys are going to be taking images and everything's great. Like your subject looks great, the lighting's great and everything. There's going to be someone in the background picking their nose or like a kid with his pants pulled down or there's just going to be something in the background that ruins your photo. In this case, there's a giant trash can right beside our subject. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys some awesome techniques on removing these objects from your background, even when they take up a large portion of your image. It's an awesome episode. We're getting into it right now. So here's our image for today. This was taken by Desmond Young and it was actually submitted into one of our contests. It's an awesome image. We've got a subject here. She looks great. Perfect expression on her face. The lighting is really nice. I like the background. I don't mind the truck, but we've got a giant trash can right next to our subject and it's totally taking away from our subject. It's like, well, I'd like it if that trash can wasn't there, but sometimes you can't move a trash can or sometimes you notice these things after the photos have already been taken. So that's what we're going to do in Photoshop. I'm going to show you guys today how to remove this. So what we're basically doing today, I want to show you guys, we're going to take all of this trash can. We're going to completely remove this trash can. All this is going to go away. And while we're at it, I'm going to remove this light post as well, this over here. And then this little silver plaque, I think was part of the light posts, they're just connecting behind the other posts. So all those things are going to go away. Now to do this, we're going to have to use some of our selection tools. We're going to have to use like clone stamping tools. I'm going to show you guys some really cool things you can do as well with the brush tool. So the first thing we need to do when we're going to get rid of this trash can, let's just zoom in. We can see the trash can, it's, it's kind of like it's behind some things, right? It's behind this concrete block. It's behind the lamp post. So I need to create a nice selection that will actually not interfere with this area in this area. So selections are a huge part of removing things from the background. And in this case, because I know we're going to have to create some straight edges here, we're going to come down over here and then I've got some curved edges here as well. And I need this to be super accurate. I'm going to use the pen tool. So I'm going to hit P for the pen tool and we're going to go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and create a new layer here. Now, if you guys have any questions about using the pen tool or any of this looks too difficult, check out our pro tutorial, the beginner's guide to compositing. It goes through all this stuff in a lot of detail and you guys are going to learn a whole lot about this type of compositing as well as a lot more. All right, let's go ahead and start here. I'm going to just start by clicking in right here and notice when I click in, I'm trying to stay right on the boundary of the, um, of the piece of concrete here. I'm not going to go up like this. I'm going to come right down there. There we go. And that's just going to make sure that whatever I do, it's going to be, there we go. It's going to be selected right on the edge and we're not going to see any of the trash can left there. All right, we're going to come down here and I'm going to even try to take care of the shadow as well. There we go. So that will be nice for the shadow. Let's zoom in here. And this time I can just kind of like click there. I'm not going to get super detailed. You can spend a lot of time here. For a curve like this, all you have to do is click and drag and you can follow that curve really easily. There we go. And we'll just click and drag up this way to follow the curve down there and follow the curve up there. Now you can use other selection tools. I'm using the pen tool right now because it's one of my favorite tools for making this type of selections because it's extremely accurate and you can change these selections after you make them. But if you guys don't like the pen tool, you can check out other tools like the um, magnetic lasso tool it sometimes does a good job with this sort of thing. Or you can just try using even like a polygonal lasso tool. Um, I wouldn't recommend, there we go. I wouldn't recommend free forming this or free handing this because we do have a lot of straight lines. And when you have straight lines like this, it's going to make it a lot more difficult. All right. So this is why I really, really recommend the pen tool. All right, so let's click up here and all the way up to the top. We'll click there and move that around. We also have other episodes here on flurn.com on using the pen tool. So if you want to check those out, feel free to do so. And we'll leave some in the description right down below this on YouTube so you can check those out as well. Okay, so we're going to make that a selection. So now that I've made this area a selection, what I can do, like let's say we have this, I'm going to go just right click in here and say make selection and we're going to find feathered that radius by about 
0.1 pixels. So now that I have that selection, I can do anything that I want in this selection. So if I grab my red paintbrush, you can see why it was important to create that selection now, because anything that I put inside of here is not gonna mess with this piece of concrete and it's not gonna mess with that lamp post. So those things, we need to stay intact. And then we have this selection, we can go ahead and do anything we want inside of that selection. And now we're gonna use that to get rid of our trash can. Okay, let's go ahead and undo that. And I'm on a new layer here. We're gonna start off using the clone stamp tool. So we've got our selection, S for the clone stamp tool. And we're gonna be using the clone stamp tool quite a bit in this episode because it's a really great tool for removing things from the background. Okay, make sure you're on a new layer here. And I wanna make sure we're sampling current and below. So it's sampling anything that's on this layer or anything below. All right, and now it's time to get rid of everything. So I'm gonna hold S for the clone, hit S for the clone stamp tool, Alt or Option to sample a point. And then I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna just start painting. Now, we recently released an episode on using the clone stamp tool. It's an awesome episode. You can click on the screen now to check out that episode and learn if you guys aren't too familiar with using the clone stamp tool. It's a really great episode on exactly everything you need to know about the clone stamp tool. All right, so what we're doing is basically clone stamping over from here right over on top of our trash can. Now, here in this area, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option. I'm gonna sample this point and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna hold the Shift key which is gonna give us a little preview of where I'm actually gonna paint. And the, thing, the nice thing about that preview is that I can kind of like see visually how that connects. I know exactly where it's actually going to be making my, there we go. It, I know where it's going to be making that line. So I can see it very easily on that preview. Now you can use the clone stamp tool here, or I'm just, you know, right now I'm gonna grab the brush tool because what we've got here is just you know, it's just a bit of white, right? It's just, you know, I, I'm totally fine just using a brush tool and, and painting that away. And we're gonna be using the brush tool even more in just a little bit. All right, especially if you just wanna work on getting all your base down with the brush tool and then come over top of this, hit S for the clone stamp tool. Like we're gonna sample that and kind of paint this in there a little bit more. There we go. Just make sure it looks like it has a nice amount of detail. Okay. Very cool, so we've already taken care of the bottom part of the trash can, which is um, actually the easiest part to do. Now we need to go ahead and take care of this. So the easy part about this was we had all this information over here that looked pretty similar to what you might expect we would look over here. But in this case, I don't have blank sidewalk, like there's a truck here and there's a car there and I don't have anything else in my photo. So I need to kind of figure out how am I going to actually get rid of this trash can. So we're gonna start on what we do have. I know I've got some sidewalks. So from here to here, I want some sidewalk, right? So let's create a new layer. I'm still using the same selection. So the selection will keep, stay there as, until you deselect. So you can use a million different layers. You can still use the same selection. So with this selection, I'm gonna, again, clone stamp tool. We're gonna hold Alt or Option to sample right here. And then I'm gonna hold down the Shift key, which is gonna allow me a little bit of a preview. There we are. And I'm just gonna start painting this in from the left side. There we go. And then right over here, I'm gonna run into a place where it hits the pole. So what do I do there? Well, I'm just gonna sample over here again. We might have a little bit of re repetition going on, but I can totally fix that later, not a big deal. All right, so we're gonna start painting there again. And there we are. Okay, cool, we're looking good. Now I can just start clone stamping from the bottom and we'll just go up a little bit or from the right to the left. There we go. Okay, now what does the rest of this look like? Well, to get kind of like a blank canvas or sometimes when I'm just looking at this and I don't know all the little details that I need to get rid of, what I'll do is I'll just grab the brush tool. So I'm gonna grab my brush tool and on a new layer, I'm just gonna grab this color that's here in the background, okay? So we're gonna grab this color and I'm just gonna guess that, you know, this amount, you know, whatever the concrete there is gonna just extend all the way over. So I'm gonna grab that color and then with my brush tool, I'm just gonna paint all the way over. There we go. And just say like, okay, that's the side of the building now. Um, and then this looks like right over here is the ground. So I'm gonna hold Alt or Option to sample this color. And I'm gonna paint that in for the ground. Okay, now we're gonna sample this color here and we're gonna paint this in. So I'm using a relatively small brush here. Let's grab that color and I can paint this in. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just painting. Like there's literally nothing else that's going on. I've got the brush tool, I'm sampling colors and I'm painting them in. I've got a relatively hard edge brush right now, and I know it doesn't look super realistic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a softer brush. 
I'm gonna put my flow down about 40% and then I'm gonna start just blending these together. So sample these colors and then just kind of blend them together. I'll sample that and just paint a little bit over and then we're gonna start just blending these and blending these and blending these. There we go. And we're gonna get something that looks a little bit more organic. There we go. And we just need a relatively soft edge, so we're gonna sample and we're gonna just gonna paint that in there. All right, now I know when you're using the brush tool, you're not gonna get, it's not gonna look exact, right? Let's hit Command H so I can hide that and see what we've got here. It's not gonna look exact and we're not gonna have any texture. I'm not worried about the texture right now. I'm going to add that in just a minute. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. I hit Command H to hide my selection, but it's still active. My selection is still active, so I, I can continue to paint. And I'm gonna do so. I'm just gonna continue to paint right over here, cover up our trash can completely. All right, and I can create details and things like that from the building later. I'm not too worried about that right now. I, I'm, I'm just trying to get rid of like the base. All right, we'll grab our brush tool, and I'm gonna sample this color here. There we go, and there we go. We're gonna just get rid of that all the way up. Cool, and that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna create a new layer and we have to take care of the top part of this trash can now. Okay, so Alt or Option to sample this right over here and then I'm gonna hold down the Shift key again and we're just gonna paint this in. Let's sample right over here so we're not including the top part of the window, so. All right, there we go and we're just gonna paint that all the way across here. Dun, 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 dun. All right, and we can even paint it all the way over there and cover up this part of our trash can. All right, now we've got this corner of the window right there. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just paint this in right over here as like that corner of the window there. All right, very nice. So what we're doing, we're just making stuff up here. And this is, <laughs> unfortunately, a lot of the time, this is what you have to do. Like as a, as a retoucher or anything, time you have to get rid of something in the background where there's, you know, you don't have the information. Uh, what else is there to do besides just make it up? Oftentimes there's nothing you can do. So a brush tool is gonna be your best friend in these situations. Make a softer edge brush and just, you know, do that and create a little reflection or something there. I don't know, there we go, that looks good. Now let's create another layer and I like this slightly darker color. So I'm gonna have this come on like right underneath the bottom. Now, if our background was completely in focus and you know we had a ton of detail and stuff like that back here, this would be a lot more difficult. So I recommend doing this when your background is in focus. There we go. But again, we are dealing right now with an area that's, it's pretty difficult because there's no, we had no information for this background. We're li quite literally going off of, you know, what we just painted on there. I mean, all that was just with a brush tool. So pretty good. Let's go ahead and zoom in. We still have our nice clean edges. That's what's gonna really help sell this effect. Let's create another layer. I'm just gonna grab the clone stamp tool and we're gonna clone stamp this away now. Let's sample here, hold Alt or Option. Here we go. All right, there we go. And we're getting rid of that little area as well. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and all right, let's see what else we need to do. I'm just going to sample here and we're just gonna clean up our ground a little bit. All right, so we're looking, we're looking great actually. All right, a little bit more with our brush tool, sample there and paint all the way to the edge of this guy. We do need a little bit more detail here on the ground, but I'm pretty happy with this so far. All right, I'm gonna choose a soft edge brush, nice and small, and then we're gonna just kind of like build in a little bit of highlight here, because I saw there was highlight right, right over here on the edge, right? So I'm just gonna paint that in right over here. All right, and then we'll just paint it in like, you know, cool. All right, there we go. And just those little bits of detail really helped us sell it out. We're gonna actually grab some texture in just a little bit and we're gonna add that to add, add that to the image as well. All right, paint it dark and then we'll, we'll just put like a slightly smaller line here. All right, there we go. All 
it's looking good. Okay, so this was all with the same selection. I'm gonna hit Command H again and you can see the selection comes back. So now we can hit Command D to deselect and we can see all that was basically with the clone stamp tool as well as the brush tool. We're gonna take care of this area on the right, so let's go ahead and do that. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to add texture in here as well. So grabbing our pen tool again, I'm just gonna sample this lamppost. We're gonna come right down here. There we go. Go ahead and make a selection right there. We're gonna right click, go to make a selection. Hit okay there. And we're gonna do the same thing. So with a brush tool, I'm gonna to sample this color here. There we are. And we're just painting right over top of that. And Command H is a really nice way to hide your selection but keep it active so you can actually see what you're doing. So you're not like just painting in the dark there. All right. And I know this technique might seem like pretty crude, um, but this is, it's a technique that's used by professional retouchers around the world. Um, because sometimes there's just, there's nothing, right? Like what do, you, what do you do when there's nothing in the background and you need to get rid of something? Like, Clone stamp is not an option. The, the, all those tools in Photoshop become completely useless anymore if you don't have anything to sample from. So that's when you have to kind of like open up your imagination and just say like, oh yeah, well, I got a brush tool. I can just, you know, paint this in there. And if it's in the background, it's pretty likely that it'll just look normal. Um, and you'd be amazed. Like, <laughs> I've seen a lot of images, and a lot of my own, my own images, just, I just went in there with a brush tool and just painted it in. And if you ever need to add texture or anything like that, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in just one second. All right. Very cool. And let's add a little highlight right there, too. All right, this looks great. So let's go ahead and deselect. So we've got all this stuff removed from our background. Now let's go ahead and add some texture. So we're gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna, again, we're gonna go to the clone stamp tool and I'm gonna clone stamp this texture right over top of here. There we go. That looks great. Now, of course, this is not gonna look exactly like this. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna change this from normal down to soft light. It's just gonna give it, you can see it already gives that a little bit of texture. Next, we're gonna add a blur. So like a Gaussian blur is just gonna like, you know, kind of blur it up a little bit so we don't see exactly so clear what it is. And then we're just gonna take down our opacity. What this does is it just gives it a little bit of like, you know, I, you could say like grunge or grime or something like that. It makes it look like, yeah, maybe there's a texture on that wall back there, I don't know. Um, there we go, looks pretty good. So little tricks like that are gonna really help out when you, you know, when you just need to paint something, grab a texture or something like that and pop it over there. Like, you know, put a little crack in the wall or something like that, and that's gonna really help out whenever it comes to making something like this. All right, let's zoom out and see what we've got. That actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna also, let's just go ahead and remove this shadow. So again, we're gonna grab our pen tool. Let's make this selection here. There we are, funk. All right, and we're gonna come right around there. Right click, go to make selection, hit okay. All right, and then here on a new layer, we're gonna use our clone stamp tool and I'm just gonna clone stamp right down to the bottom. Really, I only needed this selection to be active for this area right near the lamppost. The rest of this I can pretty much freeform because it's there's nothing right, you know, there's nothing bordering this shadow. All right, so we're gonna hit Command D to deselect that. I'll just grab the clone stamp tool and we'll just clone stamp this way. Because there's nothing bordering the shadow, I can just, I don't have to be as precise. I can be as sloppy as I want to be. All right, and if you do ever clone stamp and things are just kinda not blending too well, grab your brush tool and just kinda sample some colors and help them out, help them to blend together a little bit better. You'd be amazed what you can do with the brush tool and some selections. Huge, huge, huge. All right, there we are. So let's go ahead and group all of those together. So let's look at our before. Here's our before and our after. Again, the before and the after. Guys, thanks so much for watching Flurn. I hope this episode helped out. Remember, make those selections to define what you actually wanna cut out and then use things like the clone stamp tool for as much as possible. And if you need to, go in with the brush tool and then sample some surrounding areas and then paint them in. It's gonna help out a ton. 
Thanks again, guys. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay updated on many more Photoshop and photography updates. Share this with your friends and comment down below if you have any ideas for future episodes. We'd love to hear them. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll learn you later.